So you guys have been against some formidable characters before. You had Shaw, Trask, Apocalypse. But what's it like to beat them all? Yeah, but what is it like to kind of go go through this with one of your own, kind of going against Phoenix, Jean Grey? Yeah. um, Well, it's uh, upsetting. And uh, she did take out one of our own as well. So very complicated stuff. Uh, It was, uh, I think, very clear-cut decision for Eric, though. I think as well, like, you might not have quite the familial connection with her. That's true. That some of us do. Yeah. For me, I think think what's interesting about this film is, and what might make it really relatable to people as well, you could take the super effects out, you could take the super powers out, take the alien out of it, and you're left with um, a daughter, a wife, a partner an auntie, a sister, going, losing control of her mind and really watching a family around her try to deal with that and, and fall apart be, like, and because they're conflicted in how to deal with that. And it would still be roughly the same movie. Um, but you add in special effects and superpowers and an alien and, it's, uh, and it makes it even better. Interest, so, yeah. Interesting is that she kind of replaced your relationship with... Raven? Yeah. 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 He likes a... He seems to like... Vulnerable. Parenting and f- yeah. like trying to dad uh, yes. redheads. <laughs> yeah. Well, talking about redheads, you know <laughs> Jessica Chastain, of course, of course joined joined the group. You had acted with her before in Eleanor Rigby, doing it again in it, and now this one. What was it like to have her kind of join join the team, but not really join that team? It was good. She's I mean she's an amazing actor, and like you said, we've come up against some really good bad guys, but we've had even better actors play those bad guys. We've had Kevin Bacon, Peter Dinklage. Um, Oscar Isaac, and now the amazing, amazing Jessica Chastain. You put her name in something, and it classes up immediately. Do you know what I mean? So we're just like, I'm just using her for that. Um, <laughs> no, she's brilliant. She's brilliant. I wish I got more to do with her in the movie. And I was talking to Simon earlier, and he said how we, we were dealing with alternate timelines in a, in a in a weird way, but that anyone who perhaps dies in this movie is going to stay dead. There's not going to be a resurrection. Did you know that? going into this and what we've kind of lost character-wise in this film? I don't know. Can you ever say that? I don't know it if you could can could be out of Simon's that. control now. Well, it is, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, at the so, moment, unless he gets hired by those guys. Have you heard anything guys. from Disney on what's going to go on? Yeah, I just spoke to them last night. We're going ahead with a <laughs> spin-off series, uh, just myself <clears throat> and Quicksilver. So it's like a father and son on the road getting to know each other. It's called Polar Opposites. Yeah, if you say that on camera, oh, strong nice. arm them to get them to do it, at least for the streaming service, right? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Well, let's talk about the kind of bromance that you guys have always had on screen. You've had this love-hate relationship, and in this one, again, you're kind of coming together to... Love-hate. Yeah. Love-hate, yeah. Yeah. And can you talk about Recurring that? themes. Yeah. Um, I have to think, you know... Uh, I've always seen uh, Eric and Charles' relationship. For Eric, anyway, I think, you know, Charles is kind of his best friend, I would imagine. I don't think Eric has a lot of friends. You know, I think he's very much um, kind of loner. So even in Genosha, he's got a community, but I think he, he would never really allow himself to get too personally close to any member of that community. Um, obviously, he had a family in uh, Apocalypse, and that was something else. But... Uh, yeah, I think um, even though they're, they're at odds a lot of the times, I think, you know, he, he really has a genuine sort of affection for him and, uh, and a respect. Yeah, it always shows a 